Hey guys, it's Chris Fix. Today we're going to change the transfer case fluid in my four-wheel drive truck. This fluid change will be similar on almost all vehicles. Specifically, this is a Mazda B3000, but this will work on your Ford Ranger, Ford Explorer, other Mazda pickups, and it's a four-wheel drive transfer case, so it's similar on all vehicles. So to do this job, all you need is a ratchet, an extension, and a half-inch socket, two quarts of Automatic transmission fluid for my vehicle has to be Mercron. Check your owner's manual to see your vehicle and how many quarts you're going to need. This is for Ford Ranger Mazda B3000. I have a breaker bar just in case I didn't use it. Uh, I have thread sealer so that when I screw the, the bolts in, they don't leak. I have thread locker so that the bolts don't come off the dampener, which vibrates a lot. I have an oil catch can to catch the fluid coming out and I have a pump. I had two pumps. That bottom pump was garbage. I ended up not using it because it didn't do anything. That top pump was good. It helped me pump the fluid in and then push it right up into the transfer case. So those are all the tools you're going to need. So let's get down to work. First thing we're going to do is you want to locate your transfer case. And for those who don't know what a transfer case is, it's where the power from the engine gets put to the front wheels. Four wheel drive truck is rear wheel drive and when you put it in four-wheel drive it engages the front wheels so you can see the drive shaft is here to go to the rear wheels and where the drive shaft connects it also goes into a transfer case which could transfer the power to the front wheels right here and that goes to a front differential so the first thing we're going to do is what you want to do on any vehicle make sure that you can locate your filler plug and make sure that you can unscrew your filler plug so that's what we're going to do right now because if you can't unscrew your filler plug, you're going to drain all your fluid and you won't be able to get new fluid in. So you're just going to get your ratchet, you're going to get an extension, and you're just going to use the box end on the extension to loosen the filler cap. It might help if you used a cheater bar, some type of long wrench. So now you want to test to see if the fluid in here is up to the level. You just put your finger in there and I'm not getting any fluid, it's dry so I might not have that much fluid in here. So that's a good thing I'm checking now. So now I'm just going to screw it in only a little bit so it doesn't get contaminated inside there. And now we're going to take off this right here. This is a vibration dampener, it's pretty much just a weight. So we're going to take it off with these four bolts and behind here is going to be the drain plug. When you're changing the fluid in your transfer case, I'm doing it at about 100,000 miles. Look at your service manual, see when your service manual says you should do it. I'm also going to change the front and rear differential fluids. You can see the links uh, in the videos here and here. And also the links will be in the description. You can just click these videos to get to them. So you can see the four bolts you're going to need to undo. They are a half an inch. That's one. You can see it has the red thread sealer which helps it stay on. It's like a, a, a glue for the threads because there's a lot of vibration here. If you have that, it would probably be a good idea to put that back on when you screw these back in. Bolt two. Bolt three. So this weight is pretty heavy. I'm going to put a bolt in at the top real quick, lightly screwed it in, so as I undo this, it doesn't slide and it doesn't fall off. So get ready, this is pretty heavy, once you get this bolt off, it's going to want to drop, unscrew this bolt that you put in, and there you go. I'd say this is about, I don't know, 10 pounds, so it's surprisingly heavy, there's a weight on the back, it's not just the weight on the front. Now, you can see your drain plug is right here. I have an oil catch can that I'm going to put underneath this and I'm going to start unscrewing this. So now we just use the box end of an extension, get it in there, and this is coming off actually relatively easy. There we go. So there was not that much fluid in there, which definitely it was good that I'm changing this. 
Now as that is dripping empty, I'm going to clean off the drain plug and I'm going to seal it, the threads, with thread sealant. This is a Teflon thread sealant. You don't want to use a lot. You just want to use very, very little of this. Just like that. Good. And you just push it in with your fingers to get it in the threads. You can see how nice that came out. And any excess you could clean off with a paper towel. The idea here is to keep it from leaking. You're not changing this for another 100,000 miles. Looks like it's pretty much done dripping. Most of it's out. I'll give you an idea how dirty it is. Pretty dirty. Definitely needed changing. So with this cleaned, clean the threads real quick with the paper towel. I want to get your finger in there, make sure the threads are clean. Looks good. We're gonna add our plug with the very very little bit of sealant on it. Start threading it by hand. Now tighten it with the ratchet. Good. Just make sure it's snug. You can look up in your uh, manual the specs for how much torque this is supposed to be. I'm just going to hand tighten it till it's real snug. And that looks really good. Now let's go up to the top and fill. I'll show you how we're going to fill this up and with what fluid we're filling this one up with. So to fill this up, I'm going to use automatic transmission fluid, that's what my manual calls for, and it says to use something that is Mercron, so you want to use Mercron automatic transmission fluid. And to get the fluid in there, I'm using this little squeezed ball thing. Um, sometimes they make caps that go on here that you could like use a pump and pump. Um, they also make caps that you could actually fill it up with, so you just press this and it, and it shoots it up, but I decided to go this route. Uh, this will help me change the fluid in my front differential and rear differential as well. So now, just fill it up until it starts leaking out. I'm on quart two. So I just finished one quart. So this should be coming out relatively soon. Oh, and there comes the fluid. So once fluid starts coming out, Get your drain plug. I put thread sealer on that plug also. Hand tighten it. Clean up the transmission fluid. Get your ratchet. And tighten it all the way. There you go. With both the uh, drain plug and the fill plug tightened, all the automatic transmission fluid is in here. I'm going to go put this back on. I'm going to put a little bit of Loctite on this, not a lot, and this is the blue, and this just makes sure that the bolt doesn't come undone, because this whole system is to prevent vibrations, which means there's going to be a lot of vibrations going through this, so you don't want the, uh, the bolt to come undone. So just add a little bit of thread, thread locker in there, tighten these down, again, look for your torque spec in your manual. Some thread locker. Now we'll do the top bolt that we had on to hold it in place. And finally the last bolt. Snug down. Boom. Done. So now we just change out all the fluid. Nice new fluid here. And uh, now we'll go runner and see how it works. Make sure you don't hear any noises. You're going to observe for any leaks. And we're done. And that's how you change the transfer case fluid in a 4x4. One more thing you're going to want to do is look at where your venting tube is. And make sure it's still there. And make sure that it's not turned down. And that it's not clogged or anything because you don't want water to get in here. So that's the back of the car. We're at the back, or I guess you could consider this the front of the transfer case. It's the opposite side that we are doing the oil change on. So there's your vent tube, and you can see it's going straight up and it's connected. So that's good. That's what you want. Just to give you an idea of what it looks like, I'll turn it sideways. So you want to make sure that's there, and you want to make sure 
it's not cracked and that's facing upwards so that water doesn't get in there. So if you want, I'm going to go over how to change the rear differential fluid, which is the video right here, and the front differential fluid, which is the video right here. You can click either one and it'll get you to that video, and you can do all three fluid changes to completely renew the fluids in your drivetrain. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if it helped out, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Even if it's just a comment saying nice video or giving a tip or whatever, 